Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Learn GSP with Mahesh. Today we'll see how we can prepare for any Google Cloud certification using ChatGPT. So as usual, before we get started, a quick shout out. So I have already started my uh, batch 10, the customized professional cloud architect training. Uh, so from last Saturday, so there are a few slots remaining. If you are interested, do let me know. On the similar lines, uh, data engineering also have started. So on 3rd of June so the classes have started two sessions have already been finished if you are interested you can uh, reach out to me I can share more details also I am planning to start this uh, quick series uh, quick lecture series uh, for associate cloud engineer which I told I am going to start on 5th of June because the, the number of participants were less so I thought I'll basically hold on till I get substantial amount of uh, learners so the details are put on the screen so if you are interested you can reach out to me either on my email or on this number where I am actively available on the WhatsApp. So with that, let's get started with how do we prepare for any Google Cloud certification with the help of ChatGPT. So let's get started. All right, we are in our ChatGPT console. So first question which I would like to ask, the one question which you should not ask, I am going to put that. And also there's going to be a small uh, fun element towards the end. So stay till the end to see that fun element. So with that part, let me just type this first question. This is the first question. Most of us try to do it. So, and let's see what does ChatGPT give. I'm going to take example of Cloud Architect as the example. You can change it to whatever you want. Let's see what does ChatGPT give. So, so this is actually the right, this thing. So please don't go behind dumps. That's a key part, right? So, and where it is very clearly mentioned, sorry, uh, it's not going to be shared. Now, this is not going to be a good approach. Now, uh, many of them who take training say, yes, the training looks good, everything good. So we want exam uh, kind of questions or mock exams. How do we get it? So I usually recommend them to say, for example, you if it's cloud architect, um, you search for basically, you go to the official uh, da, the link and you will get an option to see uh, review uh, exam preparation sorry not this one Ex sorry they okay S review sample questions if you do it you'll get it but the the problem there is it's only 20 question and it is static so many people say this is not enough so one of the options which you can use is chat gpt so let me give you a simple examples here so let me come up with this one so i'll start with question so what i have understood is more verbose you are with chat gpt it's going to give you really good content so 15 questions uh, multiple choice uh, questions on google cloud professional uh, architect exam so the moment i put it it's going to give me some good number of questions looks like there is some issue let's just okay let's just okay it has a small content study i don't know why it is okay this is a standard one okay it does not provide you the actual exam, but these are sample questions. Okay, so it's going on. So by the time it generates all the 15 questions, let's go and look into the first part. What is the purpose uh, of VPC in Google Cloud? To create a secure network boundary for resources in GCP, to provide a data encryption for all services, to deploy virtual machines in multi-zone, to manage billing. So option D gets ruled out. Uh, to deploy virtual machine in multiple setup, uh, definitely possible. Uh, data encryption, not much. Uh, to create a secure network boundary for resources in GCP, it's not going to be for all the resources in GCP. Uh, right, there are resources where like Google Cloud Storage, uh, say for example, BigQuery, they don't require a network. So I would go with option C, right? So that could be a good choice. Moving on to the next one, which Google Cloud service provides fully managed, uh, scalable, no SQL database. It should be big table uh, solution. Okay. Uh, fully managed, uh, scalable. Okay. Firestore and big table. Uh, I guess maybe a little more if it's a multi-select definitely i would have gone with a and c um 
maybe I need to have some more information. So this could be a good first step. So if we go like this, you get roughly, so continue generating, you get almost like 15 questions. That's a beauty. Um, so now if you say, Mahesh, these looks very, very basic questions. Can I get a little tougher one? So uh, possible. You put the question in that fashion that's it so we have 15 questions and they have actually mentioned this is what is really actually these are not actual questions that's absolutely agreed uh, we want to practice right so for example if I come to come back to the first question by looking at this first question what we get is not every cloud uh, sorry not every services in Google Cloud requires a VPC to be created right so i have also created a video in the long back itself so if you just go search in my channel no network you'll get a video i'll put that in the the car uh, in the card so you should be able to see that link so if you feel okay i am prepared i have done this good stuff let's go and do something little more 25 very tough questions and answers that's a beauty here for preparing for google cloud architect exam so let's go do this and again uh, certainly so it goes uh, it starts giving us some questions so here i did not put multiple or multi choice so it is giving me a question and it is giving me an answer so this could be really helpful from the interview perspective also so by the time it gets generated let's see what is the stuff what is the purpose of deployment manager which is our inf um, infrastructure as code so the native solution is what google provides so uh, but reality is most of them are going behind terraform that's what we know so it gives you that to deploy uh, any complex infrastructure simple so how can you optimize cost in google cloud so alerting all those things if you turn it on you will be able to know well in advance and make sure you do the right sizing there are lots of this is something like you can talk almost like an hour how do you optimize it so more than an hour so it gives you that stuff so this is good right so 14 questions are good so i'm not going to click on further generating it let's not load it because it's already free so let me just do something like this um this is an interesting uh, thing so 15 multiple select uh, multi select sample questions uh, related to kubernetes now because we know there are concepts uh, there are going to be questions which is going to come on kubernetes so be very specific now it's going to generate and these questions are really really awesome is what i feel so and it gives you those options so now look into the stuffs by the time it comes up so let's look into the options so for example option a when creating a gke event uh, cluster which networking option can you choose select all so this is multi select right so vpc gke shared vpc vpc native cluster legacy network direct peering classic vpn so it is going to be either these two things you can have a gke in a shared vpc also, I have created a video on that. You can look into it. Uh, by default, it is going to be VPC native cluster, right? Route base is not anymore encouraged. So legacy network is usually when you do with the VPC itself and that itself is not encouraged. Direct peering is not a Google Cloud product itself. It's a Google product. So we don't need it. Classic VPN is already, already getting deprecated. So it's left with only uh, the first two options. So like this, we will get some good number of questions. So the approach is same be very verbose and you should be able to get uh, a good amount of information from chat gpt now coming to the last the fun element which i mentioned uh, you can treat this as a small marketing stuff but uh, i thought it is a good one so i thought let me go and ask something like tell me something about learn gcp with mahesh so let's see what chat gpt gives uh, it was little fun is what i see okay it gives me a good response now so last time it did not give a response so uh more than me saying a uh, chat gpt is saying something about uh, me so by the time it comes up uh, let me see it here um in bart so i saw something a uh, little interesting there so where i had not created anything because anything which i put i would have it would have been either in my linkedin profile or in my youtube channel so uh, let's see this part so okay it's an online uh it's a youtube channel and online platform created by mahesh okay good uh 
so all the certifications goal is to help okay this is good uh is goal to help people learn google cloud and become certified to be very frank i have never written this line anywhere in any document in any article so but it has created that information which looks good i really feel happy and i guess to some extent that's what i'm doing uh so then has uh 10k subscribers uh, so 100k subscribers uh now we have uh, gone beyond uh, that is what I would say. So um, over uh, 500 videos, okay, I guess little exaggerated here. So it's around 350 or 60 videos. Uh, maybe it is including all the private content also, uh, the membership only stuff. So good. Uh, if you are interested in learning Google Cloud, highly recommend checking out. Uh, is a great uh, teacher and his. Uh, okay, I have seen this content somebody wrote in a uh, LinkedIn. Uh, the top notch. The word I remember that. So that's what I would say. So there are some of the benefits. Okay, <laughs> good. I would really see like that's a good thing. Uh, going back to Chat GPT, familiarize you. Okay, uh, here are some of the. Okay. Uh, it's a great choice. Okay, same family. Okay, I guess it's nothing to do with uh, my channel. So uh, yeah, it's something. Uh, last time when I tried it, uh, it just told no results. That's what I would say. Uh, but this is nothing to relate to my channel. Okay, here it is. A follow Mahesh GCP tutorials. Uh, okay, this is somebody else. I'm not sure. Maybe there's somebody called Mahesh Haldar, an expert. I'm not sure. So it is showing something on them. So this was a small fun element. I thought instead of me saying, uh, I'll get something from the, this thing. Uh, one more fun element. I just wanted to show and stop it for the day. Uh, whether Bart is good or chat CPT is good. So let's ask this in both the systems. Uh, by the time it comes up, let's try it in the chat GPT and see it. Uh, so oh, OK, it does not give it. Let me read. Uh, OK, regenerate it. It gives you sometimes okay okay this one is a classic example folks where chat gpt uh, does not have enough information on bart uh, bard the reason is uh, 2021 is the last information it has so same is the case with my channel also it does not have that information enough so that's the reason it is not giving you that so this is a classic example when it goes to bart so i should be able to generate it let me just see it uh, let me put a question mark and see if something changes uh, because I saw it had generated me a response. So not sure why. Uh, okay. Uh, let me just do it. Uh, uh, can you please compare uh, yourself with uh, chat GPT? So let's see uh, what it is going to say. So the context is yourself. So hope it gets beautiful, right? This is beautiful. So uh, it's it's only the matter of how you put it. So you see it, sometimes it works like that. Uh, the value which I see with Bart is, uh, it was somewhere mentioned it has, it's, it's going to contain only 2021 data, but it gets, but it is having some more information. It's trained, but I saw one more time. I can, we can see one more draft here uh okay some comparisons one more comparison because i understand uh but behind the scene uses a kind of google search capability so it gets go good amount of stuffs so that's a good one so that's the video which I wanted to share. So hope you got an idea how you can leverage chat GPT for getting uh, mock exam questions, right? Just be more verbose and you're going to get it and a, take it with a small pinch of salt. The reason is sometimes the questions could be wrong or it may be not there. Doing hands-on demonstration is always good. So you get lots of options. You can use a free trial account. So go try the stuff and see. Uh, but those questions gives you more thought process, what kind of uh, stuffs which you have not prepared. So that's what it's going to help you. So as mentioned in the beginning, please don't rely on any dumps. So with that, I would like to say thank you for watching my video.